Yeah, good morning, boys and girls. Trash man here, trash is treasures where old things get a second chance, and this old trunk's trying to get a second chance. I started peeling her, but she's a fighting me. Look at that freaking jagged metal here, because it's uh, this metal's just bad and uh, sad, but uh, huh. boy, I got myself into a rat's nest. Uh, looking like it's uh, going to be a complete metal replacement but hopefully i don't have to replace wood because this was basically a holy box huh no but the uh, box so far as you can see this is uh the right side you can actually see what uh that design looked like basically a gold with like a maroon paint on top I, something a little different there and as she pointed out to me you can see this i don't know they're rusted up but uh, the handle hardware covers there like uh, fish scales that's a little different and unique uh, the bottom piece pretty junk there's more junk I've taken off the uh, got the right side trim board here off without busting it up but uh, the uh, bottom rail as you can see here are garbage there's one of the wheels so I'm gonna have to make them here we go, making parts again, but we're multitasking here. Yep, and I got this big boy up here to do a big signage of some chalk paint. We wanted to play a little bit, and you know, I got the router out here and did a little something, something a little different out here on the edges. This is a big one, but it's a long one. I'm gonna come up with something, and looky here. The old Trash's Treasures got in itself a brand spanking new Big boy shop back. Well, we needed that. And Shelly got that for me. Said shop earned it. That was kind of nice to hear. It was sweet of her. But old Harbor Freight loved that place. And got this yesterday at Harbor Freight too. Look at that. This is pretty cool. It uh, goes like such. And uh, pop these little storage containers out of here. Look, that's nothing but daisy stencils in there. All my smaller stencils. Roses down here. And sitting there. And, uh, so, yeah, the more I get into this, of course, trying to find some stencils and everything with this uh, stuff on. But with some stores kind of getting open up, we made that trip to Grand Rapids yesterday. And lo and behold, we bought a bunch of stencils. And when I say we bought a bunch, I mean, we bought a bunch. I mean, my stencil store is full. We now got chickens and more flowers, and I finally got some birds. And we got words, and we got and we got all kinds of stuff. So if you want to sign with uh, anything other sun from cowboy stuff to farm stuff to sports stuff, to, you know, most of that we can we can do up some more signs with all different other kinds of things and different florals on charlie's table i stripped it yesterday afternoon because i figured that would help me out on some of that which did make that top look a little better i've been out here for three hours now sanding on this piece which i knew this center piece was going to be the the nightmare piece anything that's ornate and it's got all that truck and all the, the fancy looking stuff which makes a piece cool is also the you know, the PETA stuff to uh, get it all somewhere suitable, close enough stage to stain it. And I'm a ways away yet on this. Three hours in on just doing that, and I'm a ways away. And so I've got, I've uh, been working on that. And as you saw there, I've been tearing in there onto the old trunk. And been working on that sign paint. And getting this cedar chest going, legs going in. The bad area is handled there and corners built back up and uh, it's going to be a, a chalk paint masterpiece. So we're going to have some fun with that. So yeah, I got that all sanded up there and been doing it. So I've had a pretty good uh, morning so far. But uh, keeping me busy. There's a gorgeous, gorgeous sunshiny day. I get here where a light don't reflect off my bald head, huh? How's that? <clears throat> I would put it over and stand and cop a squat, but I kind of got the trunk 
lid uh, leaning against it once I tore the hinge hose and stuff off that this morning. So I want to get that tore apart so at least uh, somewhat where I can see I want to get some paint on there on the uh, cedar chest today. And, uh, and of course I had to go meet with my banker, my financer guy this afternoon. So we'll get some stuff done. So we'll see how far I get to all them little nails I got to pull. I uh, really was hoping I wasn't going to have to replace all the metal, but it's rotted through on just enough corners to where, guess what? All the flat metal's got to be brand new. That stinks. That's a lot of work. I got to make all those pieces. I That's a pain in a lot too, see? And that's a, hundreds of nails to pull, and which also means a hundred nail, hundreds of nails to paint uh, screws and hundreds of them screws to put back in. Uh, boy, well, well, hey, if it was easy, everybody do it, right? But the, uh, the trip was great. It was great getting a bunch of stencils because that really, uh, was some of the stuff we're into really expanded us. And we've just been kind of getting one or two here and there. We kind of thought we liked so ordering them offline, getting them shipped in. Well, they were a lot cheaper, um, especially at Joanne's Fabrics and all. Oh, 25% off. Flip this. Look at this. We got some more colors. We got some lavender, and some pink, and some oranges, and some different shades of blue. And, and it was actually priced right. I like that 25% off. So I'm like, man, I'm going to get me some different colors. So I'm going to do some of these flowers and floral stuff and butterflies and that. I can do a. Some different kinds and different colors because yeah the artistic side right i'm going to probably do some uh, wild stuff i have a wild idea in my head on this cedar chest may not be for everybody i might not like it worst case scenario all i gotta do is paint it over but uh it, it's gonna be fun so i'm gonna take you along on that journey because we, we're gonna get a little crazy with this with just uh, some multiple different colors of in uh, the base of itself and then we're going to go a little hog wild with some uh, probably some floral stuff uh, i think i kind of like going those and people seem to kind of like that kind of stuff i don't know maybe i go to wild design maybe i'll put a couple birds on i don't been wanting to do birds and i was tickled pink to get stencils with birds so but guess what i gotta go get me another cup of coffee been up since, uh, heck, I think I was up since 4.30. I was out here in the shop at 5, so I've been out here going at it after I finished cutting up some of the smaller stencils. I have multiple stencils on the sheet, so easier for me to use, but good Lord, oh, man, we got a lot of stencils besides all the sheets in the door. So look, look at this. I put this around there. I mean, there is literally, I mean, some of these little containers probably have a dozen stencils in them, and, uh, which is cool because I like uh, being able to uh, do something different. And uh, of course, now I said, Yeah, the hard part there, I'll be like, Well, I don't know what one I want to use. Yeah, I can see that happening. Anyway, I gotta get some more coffee and I gotta get back to work. Have a great, beautiful, sunshiny Monday. It's going to be harder than heck tomorrow. I'll be in the pool thinking about you all out there. Right? You can cuss me now. Peace out.